What's good, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Christian Asher, Zian Sai, Christian Simpson, JPC2, Ace Attorney Fan 621, Alunar, Joseph Vega, Cryptic Circus, Donald Fuller, Wet Dream JK, Kaiser Sani, Joe Hardy, Cameron Hofstra, Plague Monk 42, Robert Wogtall, Terrell Drux, Dylan Gibson, Alex Soli, Christian Pewter, Iron Metallica, Miracle, Joshua Webb, Brianna, OXL, Benjamin Sapp, Alpha X Shroom, Jordan Jardine, Haley Mitchell, Leon Lunge, Nick, hmm, now how did I get here? Jermaine Manji Jr., and Gavin King. And I would also like to thank our executive producer, The Enemy Hybrid, and welcome our new executive producer, Joshua Fix. Thank you all very much for your support, and if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered will be released, and I am so excited about that. They're, that that's how myself and my peer group, we were all introduced to these things. September 4th, that's gonna be a great day for me. I get to rock out. Recently we watched a video uh, by Jane Animations on her talking about uh, the new Animal Crossing and also comparing it to the original Animal Crossing on GameCube. And Jaden pointed out something very interesting that the old uh, Animal Crossing had a lot more uh, character interactions going on than what you have in New Horizons. I can see that. Well, because there were whole story arcs with these characters that you interacted with <coughs> in the original Animal Crossing, and you you got involved in their stories and the more you interacted with them the more you learned about them and all that cool stuff and Nick pointed this out to me as well there's not as much of that going on in New Horizons but that doesn't detract from the fact that there's so much stuff to do in New Horizons oh, yeah. so much stuff I did wish that there was a little more to the villagers though yeah that's that. they say that's the one thing that's missing that would make it nothing short of a perfect like a perfect game like that I mean there's other issues well, of course there's other issues. For instance, one island per Switch. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with you, Nintendo? Um, golden tools being so hard to get and yes. so breaking. Yes, yes. If you get a golden tool, it should not permanently break. You should be able to, like... You should be able to, like... Honestly, use it forever. Or if it does break by some miracle, easy to fix. For yeah, nothing. Like an easy to replace thing. Yes. But... Yeah. But... Jeez, us, guys. Also, swimming is so fucking slow. Yeah, it... Okay, in the future, you know what? If they added a thing like flippers for you to put on and it increased your swimming speed by, like, times four, It'd be that would be awesome. And, and you could actually make your own by, like, palm tree leaves and uh, string. You could, like, mm. tie them to your feet and do that. And, and, and that could increase your speed, like, two times four. Oh, and the terraforming. Yeah. I should be able to say this point to this point and not have to do each tile individually. Like, it t it could take <clears throat> you literally weeks if you wanted to actually terraform your whole island. Yeah. It, yeah, that's, there's detractions from it. But, again, nothing's ever perfect. That's the problem. But there was a weird thing that happened with Animal Crossing New Horizons. It released the exact same day as Doom Eternal. Yes. Doom Eternal, I played the hell out of. I beat it. I love that game. And there's new DLC coming out for it that is also going to be free, and I am so excited. And I got to play some Animal Crossing with Nick. Uh, we all played it on the same Switch, so I pretty much just was like indentured servitude for Nick's Island because he started it first. Well, what do you want? I mean, I mean, I wish that you could start your own save uh, and everything. It's kind of bullshit. It is BS. I don't like that. But anyway, yeah, so... Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, was played on uh, was played on uh, girlfriend reviews, but where her boyfriend played the hell out of Doom Eternal and uh, beat it first, Shelby was just like, "Hey, boyfriend, you know what? You are gonna watch me play new, uh, you know, Animal Crossing New Horizons." <laughs> to which, to which, uh, ah, I forget his name now. I know Shelby uh, is it Tim? I think it's. 
I don't want to say because I'm wrong, but maybe Matt. 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 Oh, it is Matt. Okay, yeah. I. Sorry, my brain's all over the place. It's okay. I literally can't tell you what like PewDiePie's name is. I just Felix. don't know names. Like I, I memorized that to to heart because you know, Felix, Mark, and Sean. That's Sean. Jack Septicai. That his name is fucking Sean. Sean McLaughlin. Yes. Bro, he looks like a Jack. I know he does. That's why he took that name. Markiplier. I would have sincerely like, believed his real name was Jack. I do too. Like, I did. I did too at first, and then I was just like, "Wait a second, is that his real name?" And then I looked. It's like, is Jack Septicai, or is Jack Septicai's real first name Jack? And then all of a sudden, it's like, "Oh no, his real name is Sean McLaughlin." I'm like, "My life has been a lie. Sean, Everything is a lie." Sean just can't match up right in my head now. I know. I know. It's it's weird. Guy. It's so weird. It's like when I first heard PewDiePie, I was just like, I expected him to have a name like, uh, like, uh, like a, a, a really kooky Swedish name, uh, uh, like Hrindor or, or like, uh, or something, oh, like, no, like one of those is. weird, like one of those weird Viking names, like Hrothgar or some shit like that. Not Felix, but. I don't know, I think Felix fits Oh, well, it does, it does, after, after getting used to it. I still haven't gotten used to calling Jack Septicai Sean. No. I, st- I will always call him Jack because he looks like such a Jackie boy. Ha cha 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 cha. Yeah, I go to Ireland, the Emerald Isle. I, uh, oh, God. Please don't kill me, Ireland. I'm so sorry. Uh, Isn't yeah. His whole Minecraft playthrough, he eat nothing but potatoes or something? Yes. And you know what? That's fine. Potatoes <laughs> are very nutritious. You could, if you wanted to, you could survive. On, you know, with, you know, just with potatoes alone for a very long time. Because potatoes contain a lot of the nutrition that hum- that human beings need to survive. But you would get very irritated of eating nothing but potatoes for, like, forever. And you'd, you'd kill for an ear of corn. I would. But, anyway. That's all beyond, beyond the point. Uh, Girlfriend Reviews did a video called Should Your Girlfriend Play Animal Crossing? New Horizons. So, I take it Shelby's going to be at the helm of the uh, of the gameplay, whereas uh, the boyfriend is now going to be pretty much just sitting on the sidelines and just saying, you know, I I never thought I would sit here and watch my watch my girlfriend uh, dig for treasure for three hours, but I did, and you know what? It was fun. And then we went fishing, and she got fifteen sea basses in a row. And we both looked at each other and just yelled bullshit at the exact same time. I, I, I expect that from this. But anyway, yeah. So Shelby and uh, boyfriend, Matt, I believe. Uh, I, I'll look it up after this. But yeah, uh, let's have a look and see at Should Your Girlfriend Play Animal Crossing New Horizons? Here we go. Like most video game critics, my girlfriend isn't actually very good at video games. <laughs> it's true, we're so lame. But she reviews what we call the backseat gaming experience, which is evaluated by how enjoyable a game is to watch and how it makes the player behave. For more than a year, that player was me. Should we look at some models and see if we can zoom in on some cities? Don't say that. <laughs> and I may have gone too far Matt. in a few places. He does have a butthole, look at it. <laughs> However, there is one franchise that my girlfriend loves intensely. Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, is this being... Yeah, it's being stupid again. The whole 60 oh, FPS thing... Oh, I've look at tried to fix it, friends. but it won't. And absolutely must play for herself. That's why our comment sections have been relentlessly demanding that I perform a boyfriend review. Matt, and okay. it would not be really funny to make them wait any You're longer. Right. Oh. So, this isn't a review of Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Watching my girlfriend start this game was like being her date at a reunion, where every time one of her old besties showed up... Oh my god! Oh my god! She would cheer and forget that I was there, and instead of explaining her lifelong relationship with these characters... Mabel! She'd basically just say... It's a big club. 
and you ain't in it. I think we're just swooning <laughs> over some British guy. Hi, Good I use miss George you. Carlin. Oh. You guys, I have shown her Link saving Hyrule, Kratos raising a son, and Arthur Morgan saying, oh, But apparently none Lenny! of that compares to Isabel just existing. Oh, she runs in! Oh my gosh. Look at her little shoes. My girlfriend is so immersed in fake friends right now that she talks about them like they're real people. So when she told me someone named Nate gave her a springy ride on, I was like, What? Oh, whoa, man, I swear to God. I swear to God, man. I swear. It wasn't me. Nate. No, no. Oh, my God. I, I'm so sorry, man. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm not here right now. I, I, I'm not here. Holy shit, he actually left. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, hey, Matt, Nate's address is- no! I'm just committing to it now. I'm gonna die. All right, let's get, let's get back to it. What did you say? But that's the essence of Animal Crossing. It's a social life simulator practically based on the lyrics to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for neighbors. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? And similar to his show, Animal Crossing teaches children that loving people and animals and the world we live in is the most important part of being alive. The only difference is that of all the beautiful feelings Mr. Rogers gave children deep down inside, money problems wasn't one of them. I am never gonna financially recover from this. And that brings us to the gameplay. Ultimately, it's about setting personal goals around interior design or city planning. But in New Horizons, freedom of creative expression isn't free. The cost is time and bells, requiring hours of manual labor, such as fishing, custodial work, farming, excavation, and pest control. Shoot. Oh god, I'm stressed. Oh crap! The biggest issue with watching my girlfriend do all that is it's not fun. <laughs> This is the dullest moment I've ever experienced. The most consistent profits come from a money rock that appears once a day and trees that produce fruit every three to six days. And because the game takes place in real time, those are literal days, meaning Animal Crossing is 80% fishing. Come on, bite it, you big... Bite it. Bite it! Come on! The only way to speed up the process and unlock all the game's fundamental mechanics before I kill myself was yeah. by rolling the calendar forward in the console settings, which she refused to do. So anytime she funded a large project, I was like, well, this is gonna cost us 51 years. It was only on the second day when all of her hard work paid off and she could finally afford a brand new empty room with chair that I failed as a backseat gamer and reminded her that two players can share a single island. Well, did it work for those people? <laughs> no, it never does. I mean, these people somehow delude themselves into thinking it might, but... <laughs> but it might work for us. It didn't. She made me buy my own copy after reports from all around the world said that trying to share an island is what caused the breaking of the fellowship. Uh, it is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Wow. Now that I've started a village for myself, though, I can't really see why households with only one switch are fighting. But I guess if I had a kid and he used my money rock... I'd stab him! Unfortunately, for the Fair. online multiplayer, we quickly realized that Nintendo prepared absolutely nothing for multiple people to actually do. The world is just so interactive. <laughs> you know, it's not like it would be cool to, you know, I don't know, build a tennis court and play a tennis mini game. That wouldn't be fun. When no, I visited I like her that. island, I was welcomed with a you are stinky sign. Then she yeah. gave me a garden gnome Shelby. and told me not to touch anything, which was her way of saying, I'm gonna pay you $100 to f off. So I disappeared completely and it was my favorite part of the game. Where are you? I don't know. You'll never find me. 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> when she visited my island, she touched everything. No. <laughs> Making the option to open my gates for visitors feel about as productive as having the option to set a gremlin loose. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Fishing on my fishies and stuff. Watch oh, her yeah, get like an ultra rare. Fishies. Get it. <gasps> oh! 
Oh! Are you kidding me? What is that? Shelby. Thing? It's an oarfish. I want it. I never got it. I'm keeping it. No, I saw no, my no, island. No, I'm keeping it. What the hell? I'm Go give it to my guy. I'm keeping it. Why should I keep it? Lastly, I want to talk about why I gave up on Animal Crossing altogether, and it's not because my villagers hate me. <gasps> what? <laughs> Burn. Ouch. Listen, if you guys ask for boyfriend reviews, you're not going to hear about how adorable I think the graphics are or how awesome the music is. You're going to hear unreasonably strong opinions about trivial stuff. Number one, why do I have to go in the community center and use this thing to buy a plane ticket? How about the airport sells those and we don't involve a snack machine all the way across town in this transaction? Number two, why do I have to stop, open the item wheel, and equip something to vault over rivers and climb up ledges? These are one press or less situations. There are three unused buttons on my controller and how dare you? Number three, why do I take a moment to ask myself if I should craft something? If I just answered that question by a approaching a crafting station and interacting with it. And while we're on the subject, let me craft multiple items at once. Let me craft any required items automatically if I have the materials. Let me access materials stored in my home from the workbench in my home. And let me press a button down here to enter customization instead of backing out and touching the thing I was just using. Uh. Number four, why does every fish I catch continue to be shown off and identified with a pun even if I've already caught 100 of them today? To answer this question, I called a local bait shop. Hey, when you're out fishing with your buddies, do they ever say anything like, I caught a string fish, five more, and I'll have a guitar fish? Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. And I'll stop. <laughs> I know what that's from! That's from Office Space! That's a... That's... <laughs> that was the neighbor coming over, and they tried to, like, have a bonding moment, and he was just like, I work in an office, man, and someone literally came up to me today and said... Mondays, am I right? And the guy is just like, have you ever had anyone ever tell you that? And he's like, shit, no, man. Anyone ever said that to me? They probably, I probably kicked their ass. Like, and that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I don't work in an office anymore because I kept hearing that all the time. It's like Mondays, am I right? Wednesday, hump day, am I right? I am very it's like guilty. Friday. Ready for that weekend? And it's like, oh my god! It's like, it's like Roy. I want to strangle you. I want to strangle you with a phone cord! I'm very guilty of office talk in the way that my Monday is Saturday and my Friday is Tuesday. Well, you don't work the regular so Monday, or, you know, my, Monday to, fi Monday to my Friday. My manager, though, her Friday is Saturday and her Monday is Tuesday. So on my Tuesday, when I'm about to leave for the week, she comes in for the first day. Uh-huh. And I go every time because she's like, how are you, Quinn? And I'm like, oh, I'm good. It's my Friday. It's your Monday, though. <laughs> okay, that's an original take on it, though. That's a more original take. It's the same, but but when you work a regular every, like, Monday to Friday, which is what I worked when I worked at AT&T and Sprint, I kept hearing that over and over again. It's like, Mondays, am I right? It's like, it's like, Wednesday, it's like Wednesdays, hump days here, man, let's keep going. Let's keep on. And then the weekends got here, it's just like, it's like, hey, ready for that weekend? What's your plans? I'm like, my plans are not being around you, Roy. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Yeah. I have to be as far away from you as possible. Yeah. Roy, Dustin, and fucking, and fucking uh, Chuck Reddy. Chuck Reddy was the, uh, was, uh, he was the, the floor manager where I worked at in AT&T. Good God. That did, like, look, if you enjoy your job, enjoy your job. Keep, make your paper, boo-boo. I don't give a damn. But the very moment that you try and inflect that upon me and you want me to, to have the same level of energy as you do, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. It's not my job to be as happy as you. If I find joy in my work, I find joy in my work. But I don't find joy in... Uh, hello. Yes. Yes, this is AT&T. Oh, I'm going to uh, fuck myself? Uh, it's like, <laughs> okay. Um, ma'am, uh, ma'am, th this is an apple. I don't, I don't know how to... Uh, disassemble and reassemble. Why did you take your iPhone apart? Ma'am, but... Hello? How'd you even do that? <laughs> Nate? <laughs> oh, Nate. <sighs> You're not ready. I probably am not, but go ahead. There was a phone call the other day that was recorded that I got to listen to. It was not my call. It was a newer agent. Okay. It was a newer agent. Um... And I'm not going to say that the agent didn't know what she was doing. I'm going to say that she was not confident. Yes. And uh, was kind of making it very 
like noticeable <coughs> that she wasn't confident, which is an issue if you work in customer service. You got yes. fake it till you make it is the tip in training. Um, so instead of putting her customer on hold, she said, let me ask my manager and just left her on like silent hold for like three minutes. Oh God. It, like that kind of thing. Yeah. But at the end, and it escalated very quickly. The woman goes, oh, that's okay, because we told her no, basically, on the service that we provide. Yes. Um, and she goes, that's okay. I was just under the impression that um, I was under the impression. And she did that for, like, 20 seconds, okay? And we were so just, I was under the impression that she yeah, said that. she was like, very much under the impression of something. I was and under then the she started that. screaming, I'm masturbating. Oh, my God. I'm coming. Put your dick in me. Come put your dick in me. And then it goes, Quinn, you you witnessed a nervous breakdown right I there. I legitimately, when the call was sent to me, lost my fucking mind. I okay, I okay. I've I've had someone on the other end of the line tell me like explicit details, and I said, "Sir, if you if you do that again, I'm I'm gonna have to end the call. I'm sorry." <laughs> the but, agent did exactly what I would have done, which was I kept my mouth shut and listened to this unfold. No, um, I, no. I, the worst one I ever got was when I worked at Movie Gallery. Uh, I got a dude literally calling me up and saying, Hey, man, I see you in the window there. I'm about to blow that fucking place up. And I'm like, No, you're not. He's like, You all in bed there, big boy? And I'm like, I, I bet you to come in here and tell me that to my face. And he's just like, I'm going to blow that motherfucker up. Can't wait to see that fucking place go sky high. And I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck ever. And then I hang up. And then all of a sudden, outside the front door, I, I I see someone run up to the front door. Don't see his face. And he throws something at the front door. I look, and it's a bundle of firecrackers. And I'm like, and I'm literally standing there. And uh, after the thing explode, after they're all done exploding and everything. I see the guy, yeah, I saw the car he went to, it was a big old, it was a Dodge pickup truck, and uh, he was sitting there in his truck, I could see him, I, I still couldn't see his face that good, but after all the firecrackers are done, I, outside, outside the first, the entry doors, I walk up to the entry doors, and I just go, I just look at him, I look straight at the cab of the truck, and I go... It's amazing how often you get like threats like that when you work in a call center or something. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then I, I proceeded to just like walk walk or lock the door, walk back in, and just and just like sit there. And then all of a sudden he like starts his truck up, revs his engine a couple times, and then he peels out. And I'm just like I'm just like how boring and how drab is your life that you got to pester the movie rental place I'm telling to get your you, kicks like people how how pathetic <laughs> is your life it gets interesting like i had a guy call in and complain that his provider for the service that we offer i'm not going into details about my work because i don't want to get fired i like my job um but <clears throat> he called in mad that the person got there early but not early enough to meet his expectations Wow. Like, he was given 45 minutes, the provider got there in 30, and he was mad he wasn't there, like, in 10. Yeah, uh, and now, fuck you. <laughs> my manager's like, that's just not how that works, well, sir. Well, yeah. <laughs> the la last thing I'll say is, that like, people, people expect too much out of the world. I mean, lower your expectations, everybody, because life can sometimes be a disappointment. If you need help, you're probably needing help from another human. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's finish this off. Up at number five. Why the f is he here? After all the repetition and inconvenience that frequently wasted my time, was suddenly polluting the sky, land, and sea with eggs supposed to be fun? The following footage contains the moment in which I, a grown man, regrettably lost his temper while playing a baby game. I don't like Easter. <laughs> I don't want these eggs, this sucks. In conclusion, Animal Crossing New Horizons is my girlfriend's favorite game right now, and that makes me really happy. But my job is supposed to be rating what it's like to watch, so I'm sorry, but... I guess everything's okay. 
All right, that's enough of that. I'm back for the ad read. I love Animal Crossing. Matt is a cranky old man, and here's a word from our sponsor. Creating a website for your business oh, with Squarespace God. is super easy. Using any of their beautiful templates, you'll quickly be the owner of a website with full access to analytics like page views, traffic sources, and more. Want to make sure your business is being seen by the right people? Squarespace uses all the best practices for search engine optimization without needing any extra plugins. In addition to configuring third-party domains, customers can purchase domains directly directly from Squarespace. Create a powerful visual experience on your website using video backgrounds. Communicate with customers using Squarespace's integrated commenting system. Schedule posts in advance and enjoy Ugh. the extra time you have to focus on your business. Squarespace makes it so easy, even a goose could do it. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, check out squarespace.com slash girlfriendreviews and add code girlfriendreviews for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Should your girlfriend play Animal Crossing New Horizons? Absolutely. Will you enjoy it? <laughs> Depends. Depends on who you are, really. You can't go into Animal Crossing with, like, that, um... If you have to be the type of person to appreciate that type of game. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is what I'm looking for. Yes. Like, if you don't like Stardew Valley, you're not going to like Animal Crossing. That's, That's just I'm a sorry. given. That's just like, a given right there. If you think that Harvest Moon was boring as a child, you probably won't like Animal Crossing. Uh, that's just how it is. Yeah. So, like, anyone that likes that <clears throat> type of game is going to review it highly. Anyone that doesn't thinks it sucks ass. And that's just how it's going to be. Like, but like, it's cute, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know what else is cute? You know what else I think is cute, I guess? A punch to the face! Like, yeah. There's it, no guns in this game. It, I don't mind that. There's plenty of games I play that don't have guns. There's plenty of games, but... Yeah, the whole thing with this game is that it's a calming experience for some people. For some people, this is therapy. It came out at the perfect time, too. Yeah, right as COVID really started to ramp up. I mean, immediately people were, like, holding little weddings in their towns and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, the little get-together things are always are always interesting to and see. And, like, also it was just a good time sink, so. Yeah, it is. It is. How many hours do you have in it right now? Oh, gosh. Quinn actually has to look. Because uh, Quinn, Quinn's afraid to, to guess because it'll, it'll, it may shock them. Turn on the volume because I'm opening TikTok. Um, 340. Which is, fun fact, longer than um, police officers train in the police academy, which is why I know that. Yes. Because um, there was like a TikTok that's like, uh, do at this if you had played Animal Crossing longer than a police officer trains in the police academy. That's, that's, that, yeah. <laughs> so, my whole thing with, uh, <clears throat> with, it, like, I don't know how long, like, the longest I've ever played a game on Steam. I know that I looked the other night, and I, I've been playing Rainbow Six Siege here recently a lot with the fellas, you know, with Wolf and Jacob and all them. And uh, I found out I would only sank 80 hours into it. Mm -hmm. Whereas I talked to Jake, and Jake's just like, oh, I've got 212 hours in it. And I'm like, oh, damn. How about you, Wolf? And Wolf's like... 531 hours. I think the <clears throat> Horizons past Stardew Valley, which is my second. Yeah. So. And then, of course, there's also... Uh, I think the lo per person who's been playing it the longest may have been... Uh, maybe Bone. I think Bone said he has at least 1,000 hours in it. And then... You want to know the weirdest one I've heard? Uh, CGP Grey uh, playing the game Factorio. Factorio is literally a factory simulator. You have to prioritize and make things like okay. work properly in this factory and he has uh, this scares me 15,000 hours well does it run idle no oh oh that's scary is he okay apparently well okay how how good is he how cgp gray is he doing well Let's see here. Hum. There he is. Yeah, he's doing well. 
4.36 million subscribers. And there was a video a week ago, so... Yes. Well, he doesn't play it as much anymore. That's the thing. He does not play it anywhere near as much as he used to. That's crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. The, I'm leaving a like on this video. Also, leaving a comment down below. Uh... I still think one of my favorite videos by Girlfriend Reviews was like the Super Mario Maker one they did. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend it. <laughs> God. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta move on to the next video, uh, which is gonna be more Castlevania, so hopefully we will see you all there. But, until then, thank you all for tuning in, and until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Quinn. I'll see you then, everybody. Peace out. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah.